You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. Autumn Waits by Ken McGregor Autumn is tired. Her long hair, which had been green, then red and yellow, and finally brown, has begun to fall out. Her dress is tattered and her skin dry. She wants nothing more than to sleep. But it is not time yet. So she waits. She thinks back over the last few months. The crisp, clear air, the bright skies, the apple cider, the children dressing up as pirates and monsters and eating too much candy. A sad smile plays across her lips. Finally, Autumn sees Jack on the horizon. He's walking toward her, but taking his time. At this distance, he doesn't really seem to be getting any closer. She wishes he would hurry. She can barely keep her eyes open. Jack struts, cocksure, his footsteps crushing the stiff grass. The prints he leaves behind are crushed flat, brown tinged with white. He seems to take forever to cross the field to where Autumn sits. Every year, Jack comes to her, and every year, she is ready to go. Her very bones ache with the need for rest. Finally, he is there. He looks into her eyes. She smiles at him. Seeing him here now gives her comfort. This is as it should be. Hello, Mr. Frost. My beautiful Autumn. Hard to believe, she says. It's already been a year. I know, love. Jack smiles at her. I know. He embraces Autumn and holds her close. He brushes a strand of hair from her brow and it falls to the ground. She can feel his cold touch long after it is gone. With a tenderness she finds surprising every time, Jack kisses her. Autumn's life bleeds away with her warmth. Her awareness fades, and her last thought is a happy one. Finally, she can rest. Jack lays her lifeless body on the ground. He always wishes he had more time with Autumn. He misses her already. But there is much to do. Besides, he'll see her next year. She's always waiting for him. And in a few months' time, April will show up. Bright, effusive April with her golden hair and sunshine smile. He's always anxious to see her by the end. By then, he too will be tired and ready to sleep. We hope you enjoyed Autumn Waits by Ken McGregor, read by Laura K. MacDonald. If you'd like to make a donation to the author and narrator of this story, check out the story page link in the description and click the PayPal donate button, or pledge your support to us directly on Patreon. Would you like to submit a story to the Centropic Oracle? A link to our submission guidelines can be found in the description.